since 1962 india has been celebrating teachers day on 5th september as the symbol of tribute and honor to the contribution made by teachers to the society respected among society teachers have played an important role in the overall development of a person they are capable to influence and mold the student's life positively every student celebrates this day to encourage and support the contribution of his or her teacher children are the country's future hence they need to be positively nurtured and that is done best by teachers teachers enlighten students and shape their career however the date on which teachers day is celebrated varies from country to country in india this day is celebrated to honor dr sarvapalli radhakrishnan the great teacher academic philosopher and second president of india so let us know something more about dr sarvapalli radhakrishnan also known as philosopher president dr sarvapalli radhakrishnan was born on september 5 1888 in a middle class family in the pilgrim town of tiruttani his father did not want his son to learn english instead wanted him to become a priest however the talents of the boy was so outstanding that he was sent to school at tirupati and then below later he joined the christian college at madras and studied philosophy drawn by accident into philosophy radha krishnan by his confidence concentration and strong convictions went on to become a great philosopher his first book the ethics of vedanta and its material presupposition being his thesis for ma degree examination of madras university published in 1908 at once established his fame as the great philosopher all his later works are landmark in their respective fields to him philosophy was a way of understanding life and his study of indian philosophy served as a cultural therapy by interpreting indian thought in western terms and showing that it was imbued with the reason and logic he was able to give indians a new sense of esteem who were overcome by inferiority complex by imperial forces but he also made clear to them that their long and rich tradition had been arrested and required further evolution he believed that in india the philosopher's duty was to keep in touch with the past while stretching out to the future far from being a stern and severe intellectual remote from the world dr radha krishnan was a very humane person exceedingly popular among his students right from his early days as a professor at presidency college he was an evocative teacher he was offered the professorship in calcutta university when he was less than 30 years old He served as vice chancellor of Andhra University from 1931 to 1936. In 1939, he was appointed the vice chancellor of Banaras Hindu University. His mastery on his subject and his clarity of thought and expression made him much sought after teacher. But what made him even more popular was his ability to draw out people. This aspect of his personality continued to win him countless admirers throughout his long and illustrious public life his commitment to high principles and unfailing dignity lent nobility and moral authority to all the offices which he held if in india dr radha krishnan was a highly respected figure abroad he became one of the best liked public figures of his time he earned very early international recognition as a philosopher In 1952 the library of living philosophers an institute of worldwide repute brought out a massive volume on the philosophy of sarvapalli radha krishnan in 1952 dr radha krishnan was chosen to be the vice president of republic of india and in 1962 he was made the head of state for 5 years it was the glory of indian democracy that an educationist aloof from politics but with an international acclaim as a profound scholar was placed in the position of the president and it was an advantage for a young country like india to have him to interpret its domestic and foreign policies abroad 
Dr. Radha Krishnan had great faith in Indian democracy. In his farewell broadcast to the nation on May 12, 1967, he said, It was a way of life and regime of civilized conduct of human affairs. We should be the architects of peaceful changes and the advocates of radical reform. It was in 1962 when Dr. Radha Krishnan became the President of India that his birthday in September came to be observed as Teacher's Day. It was a tribute to Dr. Krishnan's close association with the cause of teachers. Whatever position he held, whether as President or Vice President or even as Ambassador, Dr. Radha Krishnan essentially remained a teacher all his life. The teaching profession was his first love and those who studied under him still remember with gratitude his great qualities as a teacher. Bharat Ratna, the highest award of the nation was conferred on him in 1954 in recognition of his meritorious service to mankind. On the occasion of Teacher's Day, various cultural programs and activities takes place in schools. Senior students dress up as teachers and take up their roles giving out lectures and teaching the students of primary level. By doing so, the students get a hands-on experience and realize how it feels to be a teacher. In some schools, fests are arranged and in some, reunions are organized between the old students and teachers. People call up their childhood teachers and let them know that they are still remembered, giving them immense happiness and appreciating them for all that they did for them. Most students offer gifts like greeting cards, flowers, chocolates, pens, showpieces, books etc. to their teachers on this special occasion. A gift reflects the love and respect for the teachers by their students. Each one of us has been a student at some point of our lives. Therefore, Teacher's Day should be celebrated by all of us and not just by the teachers and students alone. Thanks for watching Edupedia World. Happy Teacher's Day! Institute of Worldwide Repute brought out a massive volume on the philosophy of Sarvapalli Radhakrishnan. In 1952, Dr. Radhakrishnan was chosen to be the Vice President of Republic of India and in 1962, he was made the head of a state for five years. It was the glory of Indian democracy that an educationist aloof from politics but with an international acclaim as a profound scholar was placed in the position of the President. And it was an advantage for a young country like India to have him to interpret its domestic and foreign policies abroad. Dr. Radha Krishnan had great faith in Indian democracy. In his farewell broadcast to the nation on May 12, 1967, he said, It was a way of life and regime of civilized conduct of human affairs. We should be the architects of peaceful changes and the advocates of radical reform. It was in 1962 when Dr. Radha Krishnan became the president of Since 1962, India has been celebrating Teacher's Day on 5th September as the symbol of tribute and honor to the contribution made by teachers to the society. Respected among society, teachers have played an important role in the overall development of a person. They are capable to influence and mold the student's life positively. Every student celebrates this day to encourage and support the contribution of his or her teacher. Children are the country's future. Hence, they need to be positively nurtured and that is done best by teachers. Teachers enlighten students and shape their career. However, the date on which Teacher's Day is celebrated 
varies from country to country. In 1908, at once established his fame as the great philosopher. All his later works are landmark in their respective fields. To him, philosophy was a way of understanding life and his study of Indian philosophy served as a cultural therapy. By interpreting Indian thought in Western terms and showing that it was imbued with the reason and logic, he was able to give Indians a new sense of esteem who were overcome by inferiority complex by imperial forces. But he also made clear to them that their long and rich tradition had been arrested and required further evolution. He believed that in India, the philosopher's duty was to keep in touch with the past while stretching out to the future. Far from being a stern and severe intellectual remote from the world, Dr. Radha Krishnan was a very humane person. Exceedingly popular among his students right from his early days as a professor at Presidency College, he was an evocative teacher. In India, this day is celebrated to honor Dr. Sarvapalli Radhakrishnan, the great teacher, academic philosopher and second president of India. So let us know something more about Dr. Sarvapalli Radhakrishnan, also known as philosopher president. Dr. Sarvapalli Radhakrishnan was born on September 5, 1888 in a middle class family in the pilgrim town of Tirutani. His father did not want his son to learn English, instead wanted him to become a priest. However, the talents of the boy were so outstanding that he was sent to school at Tirupati and then below. Later, he joined the Christian college at Madras and studied philosophy. Drawn by accident into philosophy, Radha Krishnan by his confidence, concentration and strong convictions went on to become a great philosopher. His first book, The Ethics of Vedanta and its Material Presupposition, being his thesis for MA degree examination of Madras University, published, he was offered the professorship in Calcutta University when he was less than 30 years old. He served as Vice Chancellor of Andhra University from 1931 to 1936. In 1939, he was appointed the Vice Chancellor of Banaras Hindu University. His mastery on his subject and his clarity of thought and expression made him much sought after teacher. But what made him even more popular was his ability to draw out people. This aspect of his personality continued to win him countless admirers throughout his long and illustrious public life. His commitment to high principles and unfailing dignity lent nobility and moral authority to all the offices which he held. If in India, Dr. Radhakrishnan was a highly respected figure, abroad he became one of the best liked public figures of his time. He earned very early international recognition as a philosopher. In 1952, the Library of Living Philosophers and